Shadow Legend is a VR game that really does its best to take advantage of the fact that it is a VR game in ways that I wished so many more games did. This game surprised me time and time again over the course of its four to five hour campaign with just how creative it got with its use of virtual reality and motion controllers. And yes, you will need move controllers if you want to play this game. To the point where I didn't want to stop playing because I was just so curious to see what other tricks Vitruvius, the developer, had up their sleeves. It really was a delight to play, even if it did fall short in a few areas. So Shadow Legend is a story-driven RPG that sees you playing as the Grand Master. You're tasked with saving the world from this big evil entity and you're tasked by a very good entity. It's just your classic tale of good versus evil. I didn't really find the story too gripping in this game. It was more just a way to justify the gameplay and what your character was doing rather than anything that was too interesting. That brings me to the characters in this game, the NPCs, and they're all pretty rough looking. The animations are super stiff, the voice acting even as well as, well the stiffness matches the voice acting. It can kind of feel like you're playing a PS2 game with the way the NPCs look. Now that's not to say that the game is ugly because I was actually really surprised with how clear and crisp the visuals are in this game. Now I should point out I was playing on a PS4 Pro and the PS4 Pro offers 30% higher resolution as well as two times higher anti-aliasing. So there is advantages on the Pro. Your mileage may vary if you're playing on the standard PS4, but just things like the details on the carving of a stone tomb or the way the moon was glistening on the rooftop in a cemetery area, it just looked really nice. But what about how it plays? Now Shadow Legends is broken up into several levels. These levels aren't particularly big or anything, but there is enough to them where you could find yourself spending quite a bit of time combing over every nook and cranny, solving these small enjoyable puzzles, looking for treasures, interacting with objects in fun ways. For example, you can put a steak on a frying pan, fry it up and then eat it, all using the motion controllers. You can pet your dog, play fetch with a dog, you know, you can feed a, a carrot to a horse. You can do lots of crazy things in this game that like it keeps you hooked, like you, you're you always wanting to know what's go what am I going to be able to do in this next area and you're never really disappointed because there's always something different in the next area. I should give special mention to the climbing mechanics in this game. You can really climb around, you can go across ropes like this, you know, it's uh, you, f you feel like Nathan Drake kind of and uh, it really proves that climbing like that can work in virtual reality and this game is just the proof of that. Thankfully you can do all of these things with smooth locomotion, smooth turning and blinders turned off because the developers Vitruvius had the good sense to add all these comfort options, toggle them on and off so round of applause for them after adding that. It's nice to not have to wait for a patch for these things to be added in. Combat in Shadow Legends is pretty fun too. You'll be facing off against an undead army, you'll be avoiding their projectiles, you'll be blocking their attacks with your sword, and you'll be dismembering them in order to collect their hearts. Collect enough of these hearts and you can trade them in for upgrades. The upgrades in this game aren't particularly deep, but there's enough there that you will want to be collecting these hearts to better your character. Speaking of the combat, there are several unique weapons in this game. One of them in particular I really like, it's pretty much basically Kratos from God of War's axe. You know, it kind of works the same way, that's very cool and I think I, that's my favourite one. You can acquire these weapons from merchants that you'll find throughout the levels, as long as you have the gold and the runes of power necessary to wield these weapons. And it's just worth pointing out as well that you can kind of haggle with these merchants to get better prices for your gold, if you want to feel a bit like Geralt of Rivia. Shadow Legends will also throw a few boss fights your way, and even these do a great job of taking advantage of the fact that you're in virtual reality. One of them will make you feel like you're Harry Potter in the way that you're kind of testing the triggers on these move controllers to try and overpower the enemy. Another one will see you needing rapid reflexes to block incoming sword strikes from an enemy. They were just really fun, I enjoyed those boss fights a lot. It was just a little bit of a shame that the music that was playing throughout the game was kind of low quality. Imagine if you're watching a YouTube video at 360p, it was like that, but the equivalent of that for audio. For some reason, it just sounded low quality. So if the quality had been a bit higher there, probably would have really added to these epic moments, these boss fights, and just the general ambience of the game, I guess. So to wrap it up, Shadow Legend is a game made with limited resources and it shows, but Shadow Legend isn't meant to be a triple A title. It feels more like a glimpse into the future of virtual reality. It's about showing us that climbing can translate well into virtual reality, that combat can be precise and fun, 
not just waggling your stick around, that viewer players have hands in the game, not just buttons, so let's give them way more interactions. I mean, yes, Skyrim has huge open world and it has hundreds of hours of content, but it's not built from the ground up for virtual reality like Shadow Legend is. I can't help but dream of what a game like Skyrim would be if it was built with virtual reality in mind from the beginning. Shadow Legends is $25 and €25 Euro on the PlayStation Store. It may be a short game, but with two endings and a platinum trophy up for grabs, I have no problems recommending this game to any PS Viewer owner. 2020 is off to a good start for PS Viewer. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching, lads and ladies. Let me give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters whose names are on screen now. Thanks to their support, this channel can continue to improve. And let me give a special shout out to Pete Hawkins, Tradition, Columbus Thomas III and Crum. Those lads are supporting me at the top tier over on Patreon and I appreciate that very much. If you want to join me on Patreon too, you can check out the link in the description. But if you just want to help out the old fashioned way with likes and shares and subscribes and all that usual shies, I'd appreciate that too. Finally, if you've been liking the music you've been hearing in the background of these videos, then check out Decepticon.com for his latest album. That is it for this video, lads and ladies. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.